Hey guys, I'm new here. All right, so for those of you that don't know me just yet, I have been doing this since 2010 when I took this course and I had a lot of fun doing it. All right, so um, if you want to see some of my some of my work, some of the reviews that people have left on my work, you can see it in here. Uh, that's my Reddit page. Uh, you can see uh, you can see some of the reviews that people have left, and you can uh, find a lot of free resources and a lot of back and forth questions between tutors and other students and the students that have been uh, doing this simulation and uh, they're struggling with something. And you know you can reach me there as well. So um, yeah, don't don't find me there. All right. So in this course, we're gonna be working with Capstone. Uh, make sure that you have the right simulation. This is the orange one, okay? So you're gonna have a traditional low-end, high-end performance in size, all right? So we're gonna be working round by round. Now, um, I know that the simulation seems like a lot, but we are gonna be able to just condense it as much as we can. Uh, I'm gonna provide you with some numbers, some recommended numbers. Now, not every number is gonna fit every single simulation, but you're gonna be able to reverse engineer some of them and make sure that they fit your simulation, okay? So, um, in this one, I'm gonna be working with a simulation that it's gonna be uh, going against other computers, kind of like practice rounds, uh, but um, it's gonna have the same numbers than most of the simulations do. And um, I'm gonna teach you how to make a spreadsheet. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to read financial statements. I'm gonna teach you how to read the Capstone Carrier and how to adapt to all those changes within your six to eight rounds, okay? All right, so let me know if you have any questions and thank you for joining me.